A flimsy inflatable dinghy full of migrants is adrift in the open sea, around 30 miles from the Libyan coast. They have no fuel, no water and no food. They've been detected by a Spanish NGO. Most of these migrants have never seen the ocean. They can't swim. And after hours at sea in the sweltering heat, they're exhausted. This boat has just arrived with about 500 migrants who have been rescued trying to make the very dangerous journey from Libya to Sicily. So far this year, over 80,000 people from different countries have arrived. Around 2,000 have drowned. But the vast majority are not refugees fleeing war, but those in search of a better life. Most will stay in Italy. Sympathy for the migrants is wearing thin. Tensions here are rising. But what is the solution to Italy's migrant crisis? The town of Riace is one of those providing a haven for recent arrivals who have endured much to reach here. These young men of 16 and 17 are from the country which makes up the second largest number of migrants to come to Italy this year, Bangladesh. The boys told me they never intended to come to Europe, that they had paid people smugglers to take them to Libya for work. But when they got there, they became their victims. Bought and sold from one trafficker to another, the boys managed to finally get onto the boats for Italy. About 130, 40 plus. Not everyone is welcoming to migrants coming to Europe. This is a promo video from a group calling themselves the Identitarian Movement. With headquarters in Austria and France, they're a small but growing group, and their aim is to campaign against immigration. This summer, the movement tried to stop an MSF rescue ship from leaving port in Sicily. The stunt ultimately failed, but in just a few weeks, the organization raised over 70,000 euros, and they've now chartered a ship they say they'll use to disrupt trafficking and monitor the NGOs in the Mediterranean. Their Italy coordinator, Lorenzo Fiato, has flown down specially from Milan. We want to defend Europe from mass immigration and multiculturalism. We think that in every city where multiculturalism is present uh, is also radical Islam and also uh, violence regarding illegal immigrants and more. So you want European culture, Western societies to just be white? It's not a matter of white, it's a matter, as I said, of multiculturalism. This is a different kind of migration. These are thousands of illegal migrants coming to our shores and uh, uh, flooding into our cities. Lorenzo's first goal is to combat those he sees as facilitating mass immigration, the NGOs. You say you don't want the NGOs operating in those waters, that you want them to stop. They say that if they do stop, more lives will be lost. No, I think this is false because these people are coming to Europe because they, say, they, they know someone will save them. You can't solve this problem by helping the human traffickers doing their jobs because they want to transport illegal migrants. So you are just helping them.
The next day, Lorenzo is meeting some new identitarian recruits. Hello. Hi, hi. Viviana and Claudia are university students from the Sicilian capital, Palermo. All these restaurants, they're all owned by sort of migrants and people. Yeah, yeah, most of them, especially, you know, the kebab, they're, they're easy to, to organize, easy to do. Uh, and uh, the food is not so healthy. They, they grew up like, like, like rabbits. They grow up like rabbits? <laughs> what do you mean? It's like saying that uh, there are a lot of them and they continue to, uh, you know, appear. They are, uh, you know, literally uh, replacing the people living in these neighborhoods. We are always less and there are always more. I wanted to find out why Viviana and Claudia had joined the movement. Più del 90% degli immigrati che arrivano qua con i barconi sono immigrati economici. Come anche noi italiani eh, soffriamo povertà, crisi e quant'altro, non siamo messi nelle stesse eh, situazioni, non, le nostre esigenze eh, valgono forse anche meno di quelle loro. For Claudia, it was something more personal. L'italiano è famoso perché approccia spesso le donne, e le corteggia. Invece mi è capitato con alcuni immigrati, credo, eh, che mi guardassero in modo strano fino a farmi appunto provare paura, senza proferire parola. So what do Sicilians think of Lorenzo and his friends, their movement and views? Questi immigranti che ci sono qua, alcune persone hanno, hanno perso il lavoro. Cioè alcuni di voi hanno perso il lavoro per questo? Amici che conosco io, un mio parente ha perso il lavoro perché giustamente sono preso un immigrato, giustamente dagli un di poco, e hanno licenziato lui. Non sono razzista, mi fanno tenerezza, mi fanno pena, però insomma a noi non, non ci aiuta nessuno. Ho capito, ho capito. Noi aiutiamo tutti, ma noi non ci sta aiutando proprio nessuno, mm -hmm. solo... Quindi sono diventati padroni proprio della nostra città, dove loro immigrati arrivano qua e fanno tutto quello che loro vogliono. Lorenzo sees the chance for a bit of PR and tells the man about blocking the NGO ship. There's been another rescue, this time by the organization Save the Children. An inflatable carrying 125 people has been located off Libya. It's beginning to deflate and is taking on water. 25 children are on board, four babies and several pregnant women. And there are fatalities. Four people die, one the mother of a 15-month-old baby. The ship comes into the port of Trapani in Sicily. It's where a local prosecutor is investigating whether some NGO ships may be facilitating illegal immigration. Io credo che questo sia uno dei problemi più gravi che nella storia dell'umanità si sia verificato forse dal Medioevo ad oggi. Chiunque dica che è di facile soluzione, secondo me è quanto meno superficiale. The NGO missions are coordinated by the Italian Coast Guard, but the country's legal system has launched two investigations into whether they're saving lives or merely assisting illegal immigrants on their journey. Do you feel that by rescuing these boats, that the NGOs are somehow encouraging uh, the people smuggling trade? Certamente sì, e spinge i trafficanti a imbarcare questi immigrati su imbarcazioni sempre più fatiscenti, poco sicure, perché hanno la certezza che dopo poche miglia saranno recuperate dalle navi. There are critics who have accused NGOs of acting as a taxi service to Europe. Io la penso così. <coughs> the NGOs argue that if they weren't operating in the area, more lives would be lost. E comunque ne morirebbero molti di più di quanti non ne muoiono attualmente. 
back on the quay, the Save the Children ship is preparing to continue its mission. Since last September, the Vos Hestia has rescued more than 4,000 migrants at sea, including over 500 children. Hi, David. I asked the captain what he thought of claims that NGOs were acting as a taxi service to migrants and people smugglers. I think I can see why people say that, but the evidence is absolutely to the contrary. You only have to see the craft they put them in to realise how utterly cynical and ruthless they are. There's, they don't need a pull factor. They're pushing these people out, come what may, and if we're not there, they will drown. I mean, what's the solution here? Because the numbers aren't dropping at all. The solution, obviously, is a political solution. It's not, it's not within the remit of a humanitarian organisation to solve this ultimately. But in the meantime, this tragedy will go on unfolding and we will continue to pick up the pieces and we will continue to get the blame for something that only other people can solve. I'm sorry, it's, that's, that's how it is. It's estimated that this year a quarter of a million migrants will make the perilous journey from Libya to Italy. Several thousand will drown on the way. While this crisis continues, so too will criticism of the humanitarian effort, and so will the message of intolerance. And a solution? No end in sight.